and all that malarkey. Oh, you just deafened me. Sorry. Because you've got them earbuds in. I have. I've got your earbuds in. Adam has. Um, so we are live doing a brand new collection. We love our live launches. I've noticed that other people have started to copy us. Oh, we're setting a trend. Um, so um, Neon Inks is the brand new collection. These are going to be amazing for your Halloween. Share some of this. But they're also great for summer. And I'm telling you, I'm holding on to summer by the skin of my teeth. Because, I'm sorry, it's baking outside. If you're in England, it's baking. So let us know what the weather's like and where you are from in the comments. That'll be absolutely amazing. Shauna, hello from Australia. Betty, hello, hello, hello. Lovely. Hiya, Doc. Love, 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 love all these comments coming through. Um, blooming gorgeous. That sounds like what Adam would say. <laughs> yes, it does. Must be from the north. From the north. Gemma says, down in Plymouth, it's sweltering. It is hot. It's hot. Is it hot in Australia? Sarah from Lincolnshire, Carly from Warwickshire. Oh my God. Eva from Denmark. Uh, Mrs. Wishing from Sunny Blackpool. Duck. Loving life from North Wales. Suzanne Turney. Hello from Australia. Kat, thank you very much for saying hi. Um, wow, we've got them from everywhere. Adam, you can read them. And I'll. Yeah, oh, tanning weather, tanning weather, too right it is, and we're stuck inside for the for the next couple of hours, then we can get out. <coughs> oh, the hay fever's still kicking about. So you won't be going out. <laughs> I'll have to be in, um, in a bubble somewhere, away from anything like that's got pollen. Right, it's going to be 88 degrees Fahrenheit today in uh, and raining in New York. Right, what's that in real yeah. temperature, please? What's that in Celsius? I've got no idea. Gemma, you're right. It's boiling. Nice to hear Adam today too. Yes, because he wasn't on the last live because he was on his Ollie Bobs. I was in a camper van. Yeah. Well, actually, on the Monday, I was at Longleat. You were in Longleat. Looking well, how, at, how looking was at the Longleat? lions. It was good. There was lions. There was tigers. There was no bears. Well, there was a little red panda. I suppose you could class that. And a couple of koala bears. So, yes, there was bears. Very nice. Joe Matthews received her order today in Australia. I love that. Enjoy. Harlem, Holland. Amazing. So, right, okay. So, is, does that mean Harlem in New York is named after the Harlem in Holland? Because New York used to be called New Amsterdam. Did he? Did you know that? Yeah. I didn't know that. The Dutch, the Dutch basically had sort of, you know, um, I don't know what do you call it, stolen it, <laughs> and then the English stole it after that. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Well, there's a Birmingham and a Manchester in America, isn't there, as well as mm. England? Mm. So I don't know where. Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah, I don't know if they robbed it off us or I don't know how that even. We've got Bangkok, South Africa. Louisiana, another Holland, Bangor, you know Derbyshire. What? 28 degrees in Derbyshire. Jesus! Jesus! It is poot! 88 Fahrenheit is 31.1 degrees C. Oh, my God. Right. So, in this collection, there is a total of seven neon colours. Because clearly we couldn't just have six. <gasps> I, I, we like have as many. Know, at, you've got to have as many as you need. And do you know what? We needed these. And when I come, when I when I actually pick the colours, um, you know, I'd love to bring out twenty. To be honest, but um, everybody would be broke. <laughs> the bank balance would be saying uh, zero. Um, and. You can, with these seven colours, you can create the most beautiful rainbow effects and everything. So, 
And if you follow me on Instagram, I put a post on the other day showing you a set of nails. And I said I would show you how to do those nails today. And I will do. So stick around. We'll show you all the different colours and the names so you all know exactly what colour is what. Why, why can I see the floor? <laughs> that had totally shifted. Oh, why yeah. What? 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 You need somebody just to stand there and hold the wire. <laughs> Vanessa's gonna fiddle. Vanessa's gonna fiddle about with it and make it amazing as she always does. Sweden, Connecticut, Michigan, Italiano. Italiano. Oh, the Grand Prix was in um, in Italy. New Brunswick, Canada. Spain. If we punch in. Oh, you don't want to go too close. Right, so these are the seven colours. Very deceiving colours. We, we find it deceiving to look at just yeah. a Yeah. I found that when I spilled loads of them. So we've got all these gorgeous, and they're in the most amazing bottles, of course. They are going to be in our gorgeous bottles with our rose gold plated fronts, which are just beautiful. And your then, wire's back. She's met. She's sorting it out. She's sorting it. So there are seven colours, okay? So you have a neon yellow, which is called citrine. Then we have a orange which is called fire opal then we have this is like a coral which is morganite so if you look at them together they look very similar but they're not they're totally different totally different and then we have got a bright pink which is zircon then we've got the green the neon green is peridot or peridot um, then we've got amethyst, which of course is purple. Now you can kind of see the purple, but when you look really close, it actually looks like it's a bit brown. Yeah, well, yeah, on, on camera, oh, actually, when you just tilted it there, that did look a bit brownish. But on camera, it does look purple. In person, it does not look purple until you put it yeah, on something. It's just like the kind of top part here that looks purple, but the actual fluid looks brown. It is not brown then we've got sapphire which is our neon blue so let's show you how they work love how they're named after crystals that's because you can make a realistic looking crystal from the colors so i'm going to show you how they work because there are two different ways you can use. There are three, really. Maybe we should do the three, and you'll see exactly what I mean. So I am going to, with these tips here, I'm going to do one with a matte top coat. I'm going to do one with a base coat, and I'm going to do one with glossy. Because this part is like super important. You are going to be educated. Not only are you going to see the gorgeous colours, we are going to educate you. So we're going to go matte on one. Because it's a different effect for different... Basically, the, the, the base that you're going to put on is going to make a difference to the effect that you want to create. We're going to do base coat as well on one. So the base coat will have a sticky layer. So it will be very much like if it was just a gel polish colour. Okay. Then we're going to put on the top coat. So the glossy top coat, super shiny, tack free. And if you look on the website, you will see, so if you go to www.kirstyweekend.com, you will see 
um, the collection and there are two pictures in the collection of the nails so you've got one that is on a glossy top coat and one that is a, a matte top coat so you can see the difference as well for you so what you will need to move this around is a little bit of acetone so i'm going to get a little dampened dish my little vintage dampened dish that so amy's have. just asked there do they like a tacky surface better well this is what i'm going to show you right because it depends on the look so um <laughs> alicia has just brought in so you can compare it to the actual work. Oh my god, look what she's just brought in. She's brought <laughs> did you just hear us talking about the crystals? So there were loads of crystals, so like Morganite, um Perry Dot. We've got there's so many different crystals with all different names. So with these colours you will be able to create a realistic looking crystal if that's what you kind of want or we can actually do like crazy like ivy vibes nails okay oh we actually just adding another one in there that is nice okay this this one's my face yeah i love this this is crazy you get up light, sure you up light as well. yeah do you know the names of all these, Lisa? I struggle to remember them. Uh, there's, there's so many crystals. I remember my faves. You remember your faves? Yeah. And don't forget, we've also got the black and the white ink as well. Um, oh, this is, this is, I like this. Oh, this is very much like um, one of our chromes. This have. one's called Opalite. Opalite. Like it. Maybe that's that's it. That's actually a good name for um another crown. Oh duck. Right, so we've got the different base layers here. So we've got tack free matte. We've got a tacky surface, which is the base coat. So that'll be like any of your gel polishes that you use will have a slight sticky layer. So that is gonna mimic that. And then we've got a tack free top coat okay so i'm going to start with <laughs> i don't know which one to start with i don't know which one to start with because i love them all oh we're just going to start with the green because you know that's my favorite color that's my birthstone katie which one's your birthstone Oh, the amethyst, the amethyst, baby blue 80 is the amethyst is beautiful. Black went mostly on spilling. No, you have not spilt it on your desk, Susan. No. Oh, the opal is nice, Katie. Right. So the green peridot or peridot, whatever you want to call it. Is it correct? Is it a peri is it called peridot or peridot? I've never heard of it in my life Alicia until I read it. Peridot. Alicia shouted from the other room, peridot. So, somebody's asked how my poorly finger is. It is still poorly, but I have naughtily put a nail on. Can you see that this one has grown more? So, it's actually growing faster than my other nails because you can see there is a bigger gap. That's interesting. It is interesting, isn't it? So, it's mm. the Bible. I want to find out why now. That's, how are you going to Google that now, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> right. So, you will need acetone. Um, if you want, ideally, you can use a synthetic brush, but you don't have to use a synthetic brush it's as long as you are cleaning and looking after your brush obviously acetone will dehydrate well there's a there's a war going on here some people are saying you pronounce the t some people are saying the p is silent some people are saying it's pronounced peri do and they've spelled it out d-o-e without oh, the p. there's well, hell on there's going to be fights i can tell it's all going to kick off it's all going to kick off. Okay, right. So, I have got... Where's me? Where's, I'm just trying to find my... Oh, brush. It's going to be a brush case. Okay. 
So you could use a Miko Aqua, which is a synthetic brush, or you could also use an Adam 3D, but I like using one that's a little bit longer. Um, but for different effects, we will switch and show you a brand new brush. But I want to show you with this first of all, and then I will show you a brand new brush that's launched today as well. It's kind of a it's kind of a relaunch, restock, but it's slightly different, it's better. I don't know what do you think, Ness? Definitely better. Definitely better, she said. Definitely. Right, so oh kitchen towel. So we so are we like we're still struggling to see if it is peridot or peridot. I mean, somebody's saying, Trevor's saying, Americans say it differently, I think. So uh, you've got you, the argument for American English and English English. True. Well, obviously, which, which one's right? And then, English, and then Stoke obviously. English, Vanessa says. And then Stoke English. <laughs> Stoke English is um, abbreviated. We miss... miss um... Betty D says, hello, Ness. Betty D saying hi to you now. So. This is. Shana, Shana's got a, a point here. So, oh, Wonder yeah. Woman's Gal Gadot, the T is silent. So, there's a comparison. It's not just people oh. saying yes and no. So, it's given us a bit of evidence there, a bit of evidence. Bit of evidence. Right. Did you know that you can use your metal case to make in files as a little stand? Look at that. How cool is that? Right, okay, so we're going to go with this. I'm going to show you how it reacts differently because we've had so many questions about this. About to. Anyway. <laughs> I'm only joking. You no, know, people do ask, like, you know, how does it work? So, Luke... Look how bright this is. Look at this. Okay, so this is on a matte surface, yeah? And when you put it on, you kind of want to tap, 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 tap. If you tap, you'll leave more product, yeah? Plot if twist you... here, by the way, just so you know, Fiona said, I've heard Gal Gadot say her name and you, and she says the T. No. But Gal Gadot. So, bam, bam, bam. Everybody's wrong, I think. Oh, my God. So I'm going into acetone, yeah? And when you go into the acetone, you can then move this around. And the very tip, as you move it, is going to create those little lines. So you can see the fine little vines, veins, or whatever you want to call them. Yeah? Do you want to punch in a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then just come to your right touch. So we can move this around. The more you move it around, the obviously the, the more you're going to cover the nail. So if you want to make sure it's all got these different gradients of the green, just keep moving it around because the residue will have pigment as well. And you can kind of move it around to create a marble like that was super quick yeah the more acetone you put on the more you will remove okay and if you kind of slog it okay. oh dear that's noisy adam stop being so noisy um if you splodge it like that you'll see it it will push it away and it'll leave like a little edge. It's a soft effect though, because it's on matte. So this is a very soft marble effect, okay? So that is on the matte top coat. So let me show you what it does on the sticky layer. Looks like a green gremlin head at the Yeah, top. Halloween slime. I've said just seen oh, in the comment it, section. It's gonna be your go-to colour for <clears throat> Halloween because you've got to do Slimer. lots of green slime. Slimer from Ghostbusters, all that malarkey. Right, so I'm going to show you what it's what it does on a tacky layer. And again, I'm going to pat, 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 pat. Now, notice the edges. 
Can you see the edges? How they're much sharper mm -hmm. when I put that on. Nice. Yeah. Is it because I'm guessing the the layer that's in there with the tacky part it sort of holds it in? It does, it holds it. So it spreads and then it stops at that barrier. Yes. Okay. So it's a little bit sharper. We're still gonna go in with the acetone, but look what happens, you can really remove it. So you can either use a little bit less acetone or if that's the kind of effect you want, then you can definitely use acetone and just create finer lines. So if you look at the difference, and I know I've only done that bottom part, see this is much softer. Yeah? yeah, much, much, much softer, okay? So Denise has just asked, do you cure afterwards? You do not need to cure. This product is an air dry product, okay? So I find that you have to be a little bit more careful on a sticky layer. You can't be as random because it moves so freely. But if you want it to like have these cells, see how you've got these cells. So if you were doing like a pool effect, you could you could, you know, with the with the colour sapphire, you would do this kind of technique. You would use it on top of the sticky layer. Sarah's got a good question there, Sarah Ann. She said, does acetone affect the base layer? No, not at all, because it's, it, we don't actually use a lot of it. It's a little brush and it's a very small amount. So you can create something like that, okay? That's pretty cool for Halloween, to be honest. So that's on a sticky layer so you can see the difference. This is much softer. Because the mat is more porous, the, the pigment... Oh, really? Sorry. <laughs> That's some, in, something interesting, some interesting information here. So, I can't... It says I, Wiser 78, I think. Uh, my 15-year-old daughter says your body uses protein for repair and growth, so your pooly nail will show more regrowth. Than your other nails, your body uses more protein to repair it. Interesting. Didn't what? even have to Google. Do you know what? They are they are made from protein, your, your hair mm. and your nails and things like yeah. that. You know, the keratin comes from good protein. Um, but yeah, it's definitely it's definitely mm. got a bigger regrowth here. Okay, um, and so Rachel's just asked, she said she uses isopropyl instead. Um is acetone better? It moves it better, yes. It moves it far better. If you used isopropyl alcohol, especially on a matte surface, it wouldn't do a lot to it. Okay? Because these they aren't alcohol inks. Do you know what I mean? These are pigment inks. Okay. They're not like, they're more of like an Indian ink rather than a alcohol ink. That makes sense. So I'm going to show you on this on the um, tack free glossy top coat now. So let's have a little look what happens when we put it onto this. So again, we're going to tap, 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 tap. See how it moves more? It's running. Yeah, it slides about a lot more it faster. Sli yeah, it slides around way more. So this, it, the way you use these products, it's entirely up to the effect that you want to create. So, and when you move this around, it will move a lot. Now, if you are doing using our metallic range, then you need to use that on top of a shiny top coat, else you won't get the metallic effect. But can you see what it does as well? It kind of creates these sours. Oh my god, that looks like a face. That looks like a face. We're gonna do neon raw shark test. This is crazy. So this really does move around and creates these cells. So you could still layer, you could still layer if you wanted 
to have, say you wanted this soft effect at the bottom, but then you wanted more cells on the top, you could do that on top of your top coat mm. and layer, yeah? Or you could do your more of a soft effect, and then you could have these harder lines, you could put base coat over the top and create that and do layers, yeah? So you could add highlights and shading by using those three different methods you're going to get three totally different looks okay so katie's just said she's ordered hers uh trevor said you can use them for aquarelle painting too you can use them for aquarelle mm. painting you are dead right there cat yes i did get ink all over myself again <laughs> covered in it i've ruined too many t-shirts and pair of trousers as well uh, and um any on your trainers this time no no but we are going to do that we well, are we're going to mess about with that cassie said has anyone else noticed the safety direction directions on the flash curing nail lamp telling you to wear a radiation protection suit you mean no. you don't wear a radiation protection suit <laughs> that's dangerous oh my god yeah that's a bit much so i'm going to does that really say that on our lamp by the way Vanessa, I'm sure, will get that. That's just Vanessa having fun, isn't it? No, it doesn't. Yeah. It's like, so, right, so what you have to do is when you use it, you've got to stamp on the floor five times, turn around, and then jump in the air every time you use it. That's what yeah. you've got to do, Cassie. Then you don't have to wear the radiation protection suit. I think you do need to put that in, though. <laughs> just for a laugh. I'm going to put these on here. So I'm just going to top coat these with glossy top coat. Um... So you can see. Um, Kirsty, could you use blooming gel on it as well? Would you? Mm. I don't know if that would be pointless. <laughs> don't know. I don't know. You, you can give it a go. Give it a go. Send yeah. me. Send it me on Instagram, and I'll have a look. Ah, now I know why Laura has put Adam, and that was it as the comment. Because she put Afam in the last one. <laughs> I'm just looking okay. through the old comments. I was thinking, why is she just saying Adam? Hmm. Right. So, uh, what about bubble on. bubbles? Bubbles. So, we are going to do my experiment with that, aren't we? I did speak to okay. you about that. Um, All right. Okay. So I, want, I want to make a video out of that. Okay. You know, I like experimenting on the YouTube <laughs> channel. Oh, joy. So, you've got those three different finishes when you do it on top of top coat it, it just slides a little bit when you start to pull it because it's not absorbing into anything because it's on top of a shiny top coat but those are the kind of different effects you can get i hope that was really educational for you so my favorite way can anybody guess that my favorite way to use these products would which which one do you think I like to do most of all? Don't you guess, Adam? You what? I, to be honest, I'm struggling. Are you struggling? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to show you the colours now. Now we've had a bit of education. So that was peridot. Obviously, green is my favourite colour. That's why I started with that first. Um, but we're going to do the other colours now. So I want to do the pink, which is Zircon. Let's put that there. So we've got Zircon, which is our pink. I'm still waiting for people to say, what's the favourite before I start this? I love this. Is Fiona saying, I wish I could stay and watch, but I'm sitting outside again and it's really cold. Oh, good night all. Good night. <laughs> you can re-watch it when you are somewhere nice and warm. So everyone's saying matte effect, matte top coat, matte, 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 matte. Is, it what's is that what's coming through? Matte, matte, matte. That's what matte. everyone's saying. Well, do you know what?
they'd be dead right. They'd be dead right. So the mat, I like the mat because it really does absorb. And I feel like I love how it looks. But don't get me wrong, we can layer. Did you get Louis on to see your nails? It's caught the portrait. No, he's taking the mickey into man. You need to see him. Everybody needs to go on my Instagram and share the Lewis Hamilton portrait nails, which actually only took me 40 minutes to do, which is quick time. Maybe I need to do one that's taking me about five hours and it's like got every pore. 40 minutes? 40 minutes. Wow. I I'm impressed at that. I know. That's normally just getting the table ready. It takes 40 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, yeah, please go share the Lewis Hamilton um, video. It would be most, most, most grateful. I think we should go to Sydney this weekend so you can do it. Israel Adesanya's nails. Oh, that would be really, really cool. Apart from that, it costs a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're going to ditch that acetone because it was a little bit discoloured and I don't want to pick up pink with some acetone that has green in it because if you mix pink and green what do you think happens it'll go brown you'll have a brown color but which which you could use for something else do you know what i mean right okay so we're going to use zircon which is our pink the neon pink And we're going to tap, tap, tap. Oh, just look at this. It is so, so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. If I wanted nails done by you, I would love to have Max for Stafford nails. Well, guess what? I ain't doing Max for Stafford nails because I don't like him. <laughs> I do not like Max. He is a poo poo head who <laughs> um, has the personality of a dead wasp. Uh... <laughs> he got pipped at the post this in, in uh, Italy, didn't he? He wasn't on pole, which I was really, I was really pleased about for him because obviously it's an Italian. Um, yeah, band. massive. It's He's their home, over the moon. home circuit, so um, I was very happy for him. But Louis was not very good, to be honest. The tires were not, you know, it's all about the tires and yeah. But anyway, I know that he will get a comeback. And he will not max off his little pedestal. I feel like this, it, like there's loads of um, amazing characters within F1. Max isn't one though. He's not. He's not got a. He's not funny. Basically, I think that's what it is. Right. Anyway, enough about Formula One. But if you paid me enough, I would paint him for you. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go in with the acetone and we're going to move this around and I kind of work in a bit of a, a bit of a zigzaggy kind of motion can you see how this is just residue now but we can create some little lines there's little fine lines with the residue which is pretty cool And you're going to get different shades. Sorry, everybody, everybody can hear Oscar. Watch your heed. Sorry. We've got Oscar the Wild in the background asking for attention, as always. Mm, your head's still coming in. It's focusing on your hair. Oh, I'm sorry. My roots. <laughs> I 
I could literally sit and play with this all day. Oscar's making all the cats who are in other people's living rooms and things <laughs> who look, look around as if to see what the hell's going on. <laughs> They're like, where's that cat? <laughs> Eva says it sounds like he was saying hello. Do you know what? Um, Morgan says he sounds like he's saying, Mom! Mom! <laughs> That's a proper northern thing, that. Mom. Mom! Yeah, we don't say mom here, we say mom. In the northeast, we you get like the certain people bring out cards like for Christmas and birthdays and stuff where it says mom. Oh, really? Yeah. The only place where you actually get them. Yeah, I, I've never seen Everyone them. else says mum or mother. Yeah. Uh, up here, it's mum. I say mother a lot to my mum. So, can you see how we're moving it around to create these different kind of shapes? And then... I want to top coat it. So I might base coat it actually. Base coat it and then do some more just to show you different effects that you can get. But well, I love this color. Blah, blah, blah. Love it. Right, so I'm going to base coat this now. God, it is so hot today. And I haven't got a pool to jump in. Oh, it looks nice already. Yeah, pool to jump in would be lovely, wouldn't it? It would be a bit gorgeous. Mom, can you do a turtle shell effect with these? Turtle shell, you can, um, but you would do. You would mix the colours. You can, but do you know what? I'm tell you the best thing for that is our jelly top coat collection. Mm, oh yeah, we've done that before. The Jelly Top Coat Collection is fantastic to create the tortoise shell. Tortoise shell? Tortoise shell. Right. Oh, so... we've got the first person saying that their kids have gone back. Oh, I bet oh. you are. So relieved. Isaac's tomorrow. It's his last day. Oh, I bet you're so happy. Oh, yeah. So we've gone over the top of the base coat now. And you can see how you get those rings. And we're going to layer just to create another effect. Yeah, there's nobody saying that they're saying mum. Everyone's just saying mother or mum. Do we have not have any northeasterners listening? But well, isn't mum is mum an American thing as well? No, that's mom. Mom. Well, it's double A, double A. So you got mom and and ma'am, but that's more like a double A thing, I think. But no, mum is definitely uh, just with one A. What is like a is northern thing? Northeast. Pretty specific. Watch your hair. In Canada, it's mom. Mom. So you can lay it like this as well. Hold on. Mama in Norway. Mama. Ooh. Right, that. <clears throat> and then. We're going to move on to the next colour. So Sarah's got a question with regards to nails, nail advice. I have a nail question. My nail splits and now the small moon area is peeling. What should I do? 
So it's 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 peeling here. Mm, that's what it, it says. It's split here. If it splits at the moon area, which it will be damaged to your matrix, which sits underneath here. So you could have trapped it. You've had some kind of trauma to this part of your figure. Oh, I love that. Okay, next one. I'm going to use fire opal. How many have I missed? How, what number you're on to here, Kirsty? Lisa's three. asking how many you've so missed. Three, we've Lisa. Done, you've only missed three. Okay. So we've done the peridot and we've done zircon. And we're going to do fire opal now. And we're going to tappy, tappy, tap. <clears throat> which will transfer the colour and the pigment onto it. And then you can kind of like, you can rub into it to make an opening, but then drag it out you're going to drag out the pigment so i'm not going to touch any of the pigment now and you'll see that we have some on the brush still that's how strong the pigment is okay so nicole said kirsty can you show us how to use these to make flowers i can indeed we will do that once i've got through all the colors i will show you different skills and techniques that you can do So what I love about these is you can get like these shadows. So same as you do with a marble, you get these shadows. But you can also create these little lines as well. So the more acetone you put on, the more it will pool and create like a hard line. The more you kind of move it around, we move it around, the more you'll take off. Does that make sense? So it's kind of like if you rub it, rub it, rub it, you take it off. Um, the ridge where it splits starts at the small moon, but the small moon started peeling recently. So that's what uh, mm. Sarah says, Sarah M. Can she remember trapping it or anything like that? Because it just, it sounds like, it sounds like trauma. I need to get ready to go out, but I'm too invested in this live. Oh, I love Becky that. Lou, you're stuck with us. <laughs> oh, that is the dog's dangly bits. Oh, it is the dog's dangly bits. It is. So... You can create like little cells as well by putting the acetone on and letting it pool and it'll push out the product. Oh, I like this. These would make an awesome neon camo effect. Oh, yes. That would be cool. You can always add more as well. And I've just added it. I was thinking that doesn't look like the same colour. And it's not. I've just added a different colour. <laughs> Let's put fire opal back on there. She thinks she might have hit it with a hammer at work. Yeah, that's why. That is. would do it. Yeah. Any, is there anything she can do? Is there anything you can do? You're going to have to try and let it grow out. But if there's permanent damage there, there'll be absolutely jack you can do. It'll always would that be it. the matrix that's damaged if you yeah if the matrix is damaged then the cells won't grow properly they'll like grow with little deformities so when they knit together they don't like knit together properly um but the more you look after it you know your body is very good at repairing it may just repair itself um Try not to, to bash it with a hammer. Always works. <laughs> Laura says, I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. This is mesmerising. <laughs> yeah. 
you don't need you don't need to be able to draw a straight line it's like it's so free flowing you can just like make it up as you go along this kind of you can't really go wrong with it to be honest to some oh, somebody just said love al alcohol inks but did you say that this doesn't have alcohol in they're not like a true alcohol ink. They're not like um, they're more of an a pigmented Indian ink. If that, if you get what I mean, they're not. That's why you need acetone to move them around. Not they will move a little bit with isopropyl alcohol. Uh, we need power. I've got four percent. Um, they will move around with alcohol, but not as much. Does that make sense? So Nicole said, how difficult was it for you to start your own business? Um, very. <laughs> we kind of just <sighs> balanced it, it though. Yeah, natural progression. It was a natural progression. It was we evolution. Did. It was. We evolved. We died. We'll be able to fly. breathe underwater soon. Yeah. Fly. Um, live in the vacuum of space. It's all evolution. Right, I'm going to put matte over this one so you can see what it's like with matte. When you put your matte over the top, you want to float it over. The more you keep dragging, you'll run the risk of moving the pigment. Lisa's interested in who built uh, Kirsty's polish display. Um, you know the ones behind you. Who was it who did these, that? It was these, these ones, these two here. Mm. These, the shelves are like here. These ones are, oh my God, what are they called? They're based in Stoke. Um, why is Kaylee ringing me when I'm alive? <laughs> she might know who uh, who built the shelves. I forgot what they're called. They're called... I'll have to... They're on Instagram. I can't think what she's called. I need to find out. Don't I? Right, next colour. Sorry, this is what it's like with the mat on. So that is fire opal. Okay. Beautiful. And then I'm going to do... Somebody said there's a shadow box. No. They're, they're based in Stoke. Um... <laughs> <laughs> just said, will vodka work? <laughs> I don't think vodka will work. I mean, you can put it again. I, I don't think... I it's don't, a bit of a waste. I don't think that the top coat would slide over the top of that very nicely. Yeah, there's methanol and ethanol, and I'm guessing it's it's not that. Which one can you drink? Ethanol. I don't know. It all sounds... Is good. that the kind of... A, that's the kind of alcohol that's in alcohol what you would drink is in a vodka or something like that. But then there's methanol which you wouldn't. There's three types of alcohol. Okay. I best Google this before I get you, it wrong. You have educated me today because I haven't got a clue. <laughs> I thought you Yeah, but I could I be, could be completely wrong, you know. That's yeah. like, there's 99% chance that I'm wrong. Shabby Sheep Boutique? No, not them. Oh, I can't think what they call it. Anyway, so this is Sapphire. And Sapphire looks pretty cool like that anyway. But we're going to move it around. To create more of a marble effect. And I want to make sure there's a bit of blue on everything. and every part. So different shades of blue. So I'm just going to use the residue to move that around. So you, you would obviously do this on the top of a white. Um, so we've got white out. And I'm gonna make some little kind of cell shapes. And the brush that I'm using is the Miko Aqua. It's a synthetic brush.
Okay, so I was right. Okay, there's three types. Isopropyl alcohol is one of them, which obviously we know about in the nail industry, don't we? Yes. Yeah, so isopropyl is, and that's rubbing alcohol, but isopropyl is a chemical name. Yes. Then we have methanol. Um, methanol is not a drinking one. Yeah. Um, which, that's a cleaning one. Ethanol is the drinking one. Well, you've got to be careful with that. Well, you do, because, uh, you know. Because it can still poison you, but it doesn't poison you as much as the other ones. Yeah, you'll still get alcohol poisoning if you have too much. Luckily, when I was in Tenerife, I didn't do that. But I was very shit <laughs> You were very nearly, you were very close to it by the sounds of it. Oh my God. I think everybody thoroughly enjoyed my Instagram stories while I was in Tenerife on a girly all day. <laughs> Oh, I love this. I love it. So that one is sapphire. And I think I'm going to glossy top coat that one. Yeah, I think that does need it. That's got like that. It's not quite the same as, but you know when you did the boot, the Barbie pool effect? Oh, yeah, the Barbie pool house yeah. nail. Yeah, it's got that same sort of. Yeah. You're just thinking about a pool, aren't you? Yeah, I just wish yeah. I was. Um, going from the pool to the club. <clears throat> so Lisa's oh. asking, have we decided on a visit to Australia yet? When we were filming a couple of weeks ago, we, we sat and worked out all the figures, didn't we? We worked out <laughs> how much it was going to cost. Ooh. It was a <laughs> lot of money. We were like, yeah. we Only because you want to take the whole family. <laughs> yeah, but just keep this going without going with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there would have to be a lot of court classes. A lot of classes, of a lot of work with a lot of people, yeah. Yeah. It's doable, it's certain. Uh, yeah. It is doable. Right, so I just want to show you this, because this is a glossy top coat we put on this. So we've also got our metallic ranges. Obviously, we are launching the neon inks today, but we have the metallic collection this one is called tin man because it's silver oh yeah. cheryl walker is on the way to the airport oh my god she is very lucky and we are very jealous well at least, hopefully you won't get a delay like i did because that was crazy some of the girls didn't even get home but they're still there they, they were there for one and a half days Extra, I was really jealous to be honest. I had proper FOMO because they just went out and got drunk What's again. FOMO, FOMO, fear of missing oh. out. Ah, okay, never heard that before. I'm and old, are, you're not down with the kids, clearly. So, I'm going to use the acetone now. So, this is on a top coat, so you'll see that the top coat gives it the shine. And we can move that around because I want to create these lines of silver. I'm just going to go into the middle of that and move it around. And you're kind of like pushing up to the edge. And you want to keep that sharp edge. Cheryl says, I'm okay. I fly with Emirates. <laughs> oh, duck. She flies with that. Are you going business class again? Of course she, she will be. She goes business class. She's so lucky. She's a savvy business lady, that's why. She is a savvy business lady. 900 clients a day. That's how you'd get to business class. 900 clients a day. I can't do that. So, this is the Tin Man liquid ink can see you can just add those little bits of sparkle and i'm going to top coat this with the glossy top coat obviously because we want it to be shiny because we have a metallic effect on here it does look very cool yeah looks um good. So morning from the usa says sharon um, I have a random question. Is it safe to do nails if you're pregnant? 
It depends if your belly doesn't get in the way of the desk, I suppose. Don't can drink you, you... the products. <laughs> Don't be drinking the products. <laughs> That's the main issue. It's safe to do nails and have your nails done. It's the thing with the safety issue there is some people's nails become really brittle when they are pregnant. So because everything's going to the baby, the baby is very selfish and it just takes all the nutrients and everything that you need because it's growing your beautiful baby. So your hair goes a little bit nap, so do your nails. So there is, you know, if your nails aren't in great condition, then just avoid having them done because then you can cause problems. That's that's the main issue. And don't drink the products. <laughs> Should we wait for it to air dry before top coating? Yes, definitely. And it air dries pretty quickly. So we've got that. We've got the color sapphire, which is the neon blue, and then also the tin man on top of that. And now we're on to the next color. I'm going to use morganite. Morganite is like a coral. This is really cool because it kind of has two colours when you use it. And you'll, you'll know what I mean when I use it now. This is very a Cheryl Walker nail colour because she, <laughs> she she loves a bit of coral. So as I wish she has it. Um, so we're going to tap, tap, tap. You see we've got like this coral colour. <laughs> And it's buildable as well. It's very buildable. So I'm going to show you something that's really cool with Morganite. So we have this coral colour, which is beautiful on its own. But watch when you start to move it you actually get a pink coming through as well mm. so the more you rub it the more you work it and rub it you have this pink so you get this kind of jewel effect i absolutely love it it's like a two-in-one watch your head so Lisa says, I'm putting the phone down to make my husband sandwiches for work. Don't do anything interesting while I'm away. Okay. To you, Lisa, I say, get him to make his own sandwiches and keep looking. Oh, he definitely needs to make his own sandwiches. That's, that's so funny. Saying that, she might make better sandwiches than him. Some people make sandwiches really badly and some people make them fantastic. Is a sandwich that hard to make? Um... Because I always say, you know, like you've got you've got um, Subway, yeah. So it's a yeah. glorified sandwich, isn't it, Subway? Well, it is a sandwich. It's just. I wouldn't even say it's glorified, really. It's just a sandwich. I know it's like it's a bit. I don't like Subway. I don't like the smell of it. The smell of that place makes me. Uh, she says he wakes up at three a.m. I make awesome sandwiches. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot that goes into his. Yeah. <clears throat> three a.m. Imagine waking up for work at three a.m. No, oh, thank you. no, thank you. You can make those sandwiches if he's waking up at that at that time. I understand. We understand now. So I love how this has like these two tones when you start to move it. I absolutely love, 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 love. So you can get multiple tones with Morganite. I am going to matte top coat this just to be different. Subway cookies, never had them, don't like Subway, however, the girls love Subway, so we've now 
Um, we now actually make our own subways at home. It's cheaper. <laughs> So I just buy all the stuff in and then they can make them own. Hold on. Joe Cooper from Sonny Congleton. Just a quick 10 minutes. Oh, I need to drag that back down. Just a quick 10 minutes before I pick up the sprout. Pick up the... Have they gone back to school? Have they gone back to school? Did you enjoy Tenerife? Gutted I went two weeks before you as you were there at the same. Oh, do you know what, Joe? It was absolutely amazing. And you're literally 15 minutes up the road from me. Because I'm in Kids Grove. <laughs> what? So I want you to look at these two side by side. They are very different. So this is Fire Opal. This is Morganite. Can you see the difference? However, in the bottle, they look very similar. So deceiving because they are not the same. It was very, very confusing filling them and all of that kind of stuff oh, and labeling okay. and stuff. Yeah. I love it when we get a message like one message is good evening from Australia and the other one's good morning. I'm <laughs> up early to do a client. <laughs> have two this morning. So everyone's, yeah, everywhere. Everywhere. All at once. Everything everywhere all at once. Do you know what I love about Tenerife as well? It's the same time zone as England. Is it the same? I thought it was an hour ahead. Exactly the same time zone. Oh, right. How, how are we behind, sorry? Well, I thought it was an hour behind. Do an hour Oh, maybe when our clocks change, you, yeah, you, you're probably right there on us because I don't, not everybody's mm. clocks go forward and backwards, What's do they? Happened? It is a bit of a nuisance, to be fair. My daughter starts school on Wednesday. Alicia um, starts college next Monday, um, but Cassidy starts um, school on Thursday because they have the younger ones in, first of all, so they have the whole school to themselves. Right, I'm going to show you uh, Amethyst. I love this. Purple for um, Halloween is a must, most definitely. But what I'm going to do, I want to do, I want to, mm, mm, I know what I'm going to do. So I can show you something a bit different. I'm going to put, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Just add an idea, Jock, add an idea. Can't wait to see this purple. Oh, it's gonna be fire. Fire. I'm gonna use unicorn tail underneath. Okay. So we're gonna use unicorn tail. She's got like a bluey, purpley shimmer all the way through it. Oh, it's so gorgeous. One of my fave collections is the Unicorn Collection. I'm just saying. Oh, everybody started doing the Halloween stuff already, haven't they? It's like as soon as September hit, that's it now. It's Halloween season. Pumpkin time. That's it. I'm going to work on the sticky layer. I've just been talking and I realised I was muted. Oh, go on. Go on, Adam. <laughs> I was just saying about pumpkins because I was making one with Isaac last year and it went a bit bad. Well, you're not very good at it, Adam. He just, no, well, he wasn't. <laughs> and and it, it was a bit misshapen. It looked a bit Picasso. Oh, very Picasso. A bit Picasso. And I've just saw a comment here saying, afternoon, you two, and hello to a fellow fellow pit yacker, Adam. Pit. <laughs> Do you know what a pit yacker is? Um, somebody who works down the pits. Ah, uh, that's what we were called in, in, the, in, the, in the mining villages, pit yackers. Pit yackers. So this is amethyst, and I've put unicorn tail underneath. If you haven't seen the unicorn collection, where have you been? It's so stunning. Okay, so we're working on a sticky layer here. So it will move more. We're kind of like rubbing this around to get it in the place that I want it. I 
<laughs> and majority me. Just, I, I just love it. So I should read them, really. So uh, somebody said, uh, Bijou said, Thanksgiving is in a month's time here in Canada. That's really early in comparison to what Thanksgiving is in America. We don't have a Thanksgiving. We just, we thank, we're just thankful every day. We're just thankful every day. Yeah, we do. Um, and then Amy Lee says, I'm a Geordie me. <laughs> you can tell because she's put alcohol at the end of that uh, emoji at the end. Of that <laughs> You're definitely a Geordie if you've put alcohol at the end of your <laughs> comment. <clears throat> so I've done that layer first, like that, and then I just need to let it completely dry, and then we're going to mask it. <laughs> And then we're going to go again. Oh. Ellis has said something cool here, because I've been thinking about this for a little while, um, developing sort of a, well, it was actually for a radio show. If you could tell your 21-year-old self one thing, what would you tell her? I was going to go with, like, 12-year-old on the cusp of becoming My 21-year-old self, I yeah. would say keep doing the competitions, even though these nail competitions are really hard and... Um, you know, a struggle, keep keep fighting through because it's all going to be worth it. And I would say, yeah, keep working hard, keep partying hard. Um, and I don't know, because I, I don't think I'd change a lot of things. <clears throat> Do you know what I mean? What about you, Adam? Uh, stop eating chocolate. Stop eating chocolate. Not simple. You're not going to be. You're not going to be skinny forever. God, I look good when I was 21. He looked like Gareth Gates. If anybody knows who Gareth mm, Gates is, yeah, I was a good-looking version of Gareth Gates. Um, but no, I mean, like, like trim. I had like, I was trim. You were trim. Oh God, yes. Right, so I'm going to use the white now. This is on. So our white isn't in the neon collection, but you can get it. It's called Pearl. So we're going to do some like highlights. Glamalicious nails. Camilla is here. Oh, I've missed the entire live. What are you like, Camilla? What are you She's like? She's just finished a client. We're good, thank you, Camilla. I hope you are too. Uh, Betty D says, I would tell myself to stop plucking my eyebrows. Oh, yeah, that's actually a good thing. <laughs> Maybe I should do that as well. I probably should have done that one as well. So I'm going to move this around to create these lines. And notice that I have to sort of press on with the brush. There's a bit of pressure there. I'm not just using the edge. The more pressure you use, the more contact you're going to make with the nail. <coughs> and we're going to create these highlighted sort of veins and vines. Eins vines. <laughs> Eins vines. Eins vines. <laughs> um, coming through. Now we're going to let that air dry. Katie said, I'd tell myself not to go on that date. Ah! <laughs> oh, did you marry it? Did you marry it? <laughs> That's funny. Right, I'm going to um, mat top coat this again. And then we're going to go again with the purple. We had the colour amethyst. Kaz said, I would have told myself to stop putting off doing nails because of my job and worrying it won't take off and just dive head, it, head first just into it. Do it. Just do yeah. it. That is a very good thing. <clears throat> I, I have some of those kind of, not massive regrets, but like just do something a bit earlier. Take the plunge. Oh, yeah. Katie says, yes, she did. Yeah. Should have done it earlier, Adam. Oh hell yes, we should have oh, done it earlier. We done it earlier. Yeah. But you know. Live and learn. Live you live and learn. learn. Katie said, "Yes, she did marry him." <clears throat> well, Katie's uh. very happy. Katie's very happy. 
Right, so now we're going to uh, get... Lisa, oh, sorry, go ahead. And we're going to add, but not as much, because we want to kind of layer this so we get depth to this, so we get more of an amethyst, like a real amethyst-looking nail. Go on, carry on. Lisa says, I'd have moved to the UK in preparation for when Kirsty released all of her products <laughs> and I'll get my nails done. Well, you know, you can just oh, pop yeah. over. Just pop over. That's your Extra last suitcase. Nail. Yeah. Well, well, let me tell you, I had a lady come from Belgium to have her nails done. She brought a spare suitcase. She made an <laughs> order. She, we had it delivered to the studio and then she took that order back with her. Wow. <laughs> and she saved a lot of money. I bet you would. And went, and went home with some great nails. Why is the beeping in there, really? Bad. Beeping? There was beeping. On my side? No, no, as if somebody was pressing the... Um, the... Um, Microwave aggressive one. <laughs> right, so you can see I've just added like another little place. We've got depth, we've got highlight, we've got it all going on. And then we're going to top coat this with glossy so we can see the unicorn's tails colour underneath. So there's so many things you can do with this neon collection. And like we said, you know, this the, this purple and oh, the green and the orange, oh, my God, are just, like, going to be amazing for your Halloween stuff. So I just want that to dry a little bit. Then we're going to glossy top coat. And you will see that shimmer from the colour unicorn's tails underneath. Let's pop that in the lamp. If you've just joined, we are doing the, um, we're just launching the neon collection of inks we've done these colors so far we've got peridot we've got fire opal zircon sapphire and morganite i think this is still a little bit too exposed on the camera I'm not gonna lie <laughs> i know because it's brightly brighter than they look on the screen really yeah they're a lot brighter than they look on the screen okay so look, this this is amethyst with unicorn's tail underneath. So you can see that sparkling through. And we also used the colour pearl to create some highlights and layer it. Not so down. Down, down. So Lisa said, are you doing any more solid type colour collection releases? I feel like there's so much more coming. Is that okay? Hmm? Yeah, do you think any more down more, do you think? They're still brighter than... These are actually much well, brighter in real life. It's very yeah. hard for a camera to be it's able to... It doesn't need to be lighter, it needs to be darker. Is that darker? Can you go any darker with it? See what happens? Sorry, we're just fiddling around with the camera. <laughs> give, me, give, give us a sec. Oh, Whoa! That one. That's See? too dark. But that's how bright they are. No, back. That is actually what they look like, though. That's the brightness. Oh, it's the line. That, <laughs> that is the brightness. Can you see how like wow they are? So 
Ra so ra so. Ra so. Ra so. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got one last color I want to show you, which is citrine. Citrine. My basket's sitting at five hundred. Go on, Nicole. Go on. Um. So, I'm just going to move these out of the way. Um, they are twelve ninety nine per ink, or the full collection is how much? Somebody tell me. Is it seventy nine ninety nine? I think. Sure, that's what it said. Yeah, seventy nine ninety nine. And if you click on the website wherever you're at, it will convert to uh, your currency. Well, into dollars, uh, euros. Aussie dollars and Canadian as well. Yeah, so you can change it. We do ship worldwide. Cassie is correct, pronounced both ways. Oh, uh, so it must be what, well, is this a peridop? So it depends what kind of country you're in. God, my nails need some um, cuticle oil on and an infill. <laughs> <laughs> Desperate. You don't get the acetone with the bundle, but you can add the acetone onto it. <clears throat> and if you cut, if, you know, acid, any acetone will work, but our acetone is aloe and cucumber scented. Did I miss the answer? We are allowed to, aren't we allowed to know? Lisa. Oh, yeah, sorry, I did ask, but you were busy mugging about. Um, do we have any more um, solid colour collections coming? We have got more gel polish coming, yes. Mm -hmm. um, we can't tell you exactly what they are, but there is more coming, so don't you worry. Nicole, get it all. You don't want that for the chat. Right. This is the yellow citrine. Look at the brightness of this bad boy. This is crazy. You know, it's 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 giving 80s highlighter. It's actually brighter than the highlighter. It's so strange as well. When you put it, like when you look at it in the bottle, it does not look like that at all. Oh my god, it doesn't look that bright, does it? But look no. at it, it's crazy. I got a shock when I spilt it. <laughs> when I was filling them. Oh no. So again, we're just going in with the acetone to create. those little openings and to push the product up to the edge to make that line. I don't know how to say this. Is it Iona Megan Batts? Just got her nail certificate. Can't wait till Thursday when she's paid to buy some of the products. Amazing. Fantastic. Congratulations. Well done, well done you. I love to hear that people have just qualified. The more you work it, the more you'll remove it. Make sure you're cleaning your brush in between as well and you're rehydrating with your acetone. Don't slop a load of acetone on it. You want to keep it controlled. And then I'm just going to add a tiny bit more. Because you can always add more. Scarlet Center says, hey! Are you duck? <laughs> so, Which metallic ink would you recommend to complement the neon yellow, please? Oh, I think gold, I do. Mm, I think, I think yeah. gold. Um, so Goldilocks is the gold. I mean, you could put the silver on as well, but I think I think the gold, I like the contrast of that. I think that would be really cool. So what I'm going to do now 
I want to, I'm going to glossy top coat this and show you how the black works on top of the glossy. Yeah. Black, the black is the most highly pigmented of any of our inks. And after I've done this one, we will do the design that I spoke about on um, my Instagram that I did. Very easy, simple design. That is super easy and super gorgeous. I need a charger for this. <laughs> right so with the black so the black isn't in the neon collection but it's a very important one to have i think the black and white have been like big big sellers so black is super highly pigmented make sure you give everything a shape before you use it so i'm literally going to tap a little bit like that right, okay then i'm going to go in with the acetone you can see how pigmented it is i'm going to create a little bit of depth and don't forget with this you'll get those little cells forming because the little cells will form on a top coat on a glossy top coat yeah so can you see those little cells and that's because it's a it's non-porous okay So I wanted to show you how it will react on a top coat. It's very different than a matte top coat. If you missed the beginning of this live, then I, sh I went through the different ways to use it and the different effects you can get from different surfaces. Go on. You were laughing. Go on. Adam, can't hear you. What are you laughing Sorry, at? I muted, I, I muted myself because I was laughing. <laughs> what were you laughing at? Just some comments about uh, that shy company. <laughs> oh, that company that shall not be named. Because <laughs> you said the word shite. Shite. It's funny. So you can see it go. Wow, Cape, Cape Town's only an hour ahead of us. I didn't know that. Cape Town. I suppose it's obvious. Yeah, so it's it's like you know it's yeah it's an hour ahead of us. I don't know why. For I just always thought it because it's on the same sort of is it latitude or longitude as us. Oh, I'm not very good with that. Somebody somebody needs Google longitude that. like straight yeah. down. If you go straight down and took yeah. right a bit or yeah. took left. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it'll, but yeah, just for some reason, I just thought there was a difference, but there's not. There's no difference in Cape Town. Well, an hour is an hour difference. An hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's yeah. like a reef view straight down, don't you? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Mm. And back a bit. And back a bit. I wonder what will happen if I put base coat on top of this. All right, so much is it? It does smudge it a bit. Can you see? Oh, I actually quite like that. Yeah, it does. It's like giving it some texture. Oh, I like it. We can move. Oh, now we're getting creative. Oh, now we are getting creative. That is cool. Do you know what? I'm going to drop it straight onto it. 
So we're going to get the black. Uh, we're going crazy now. So this is on wet. On oh my god, this is amazing. This is on wet base coat. Oh, I love it. Oh Jesus, that is so cool. I've never done that before. You muted, Adam. Sorry. Okay. Keep forgetting. It does look very good. That is very cool. Right, I'm going to cure that, top coat it. Um, so, I'm going to do this nail that everybody was asking me to do on Instagram. So, we're going to use the colours from the neon collection. I'm just going to quickly go through the colours so everybody knows what is happening. So in the lamp, we have the yellow, which is citrine. Then we have amethyst. Then we have sapphire. Zircon is pink. The green is peridot. The orange is fire opal. The coral is morganite. This is insane. I need to talk about this with glossy now. I am very, very impressed with this. So what was that on there? The, the it, black it, ink? Black ink with the base coat. All wet. Oh, right. I was wondering why it had sort of like a bit of a fade to it. Right, we pop that in the lamp. We do read the chat on YouTube, um, Annalise. I'm Annalise Lee. Um, but there's less people on YouTube, mostly people on Facebook. Yeah. And thank you, Blue Rose Nail. In red, that would effect would be a great for blood and Halloween. It would. That's what Betty D said. Um... Right, so I've just done a little experiment on here. Yeah, I think it'll work. So, um, if you... So, right, does anybody know, like, colour theories? And there is, like, your primary colours, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, primary colours are red, blue, yellow, yeah? You can make every colour possible in the entire world from red, blue, and yellow. I thought it was red, blue, and green. No, red, blue, and red, yellow. green, and blue. No, it's red, blue, and yellow. Duck. They're the primary colours, red, blue, and yellow. Because how do you make green, Adam? Oh yeah, no, it's just because obviously I'm. I, you know, I work in TV and film and stuff, and it's RGB. Oh, so that's wow. just stuck in my head. So the. The argument is here. So you can't make red from anything. You can't make blue from anything. You can't make yellow from anything, yeah? Mm. But if you look at your printer, what colours mm -hmm. does the printer use? It uses cyan, magenta. Red, cyan, magenta. Cyan. Yeah, cyan, magenta and yellow. Magenta, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. From those three colours, you can make any colour possible. So really, there are two sets of primary colours. Your printer does have black. It does have black. Correct. So, you, if you have, say for instance, the siren blue, the yellow and a magenta, you can actually make some of the colours. Um, so, it's worth experimenting with colours. If you don't get it wrong, mm. mix, mix any three colours, you're going to get brown, yeah? But I want to show you, I need to do the silver palette so you can see the colour. Maybe I'll just do it on the sculpting form, actually. So, I'm 
if we get zircon and oh no i didn't do that sorry i did it wrong sorry fire opal <laughs> fire oh, sorry fire opal i need to move this up don't i you can't see it sorry. yeah you need to pull them, but yeah fire opal and amethyst We're going to take some of that, some of that. And you get like a, you see how it's like a red? Mm, yeah. Let me, it's like a blood red. Can everyone see that? Yeah. So, that is so if you want to make a red to do your Halloween trees and very much a blood red like this so I've mixed amethyst and fire opal to get a it actually looks like I've just wiped mm -hmm. the wound <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean so you're going to get that colour so don't panic if you don't have a red you can make it so I just thought I'd share that information with you so when yes you might not be able to make like a proper pillar box red but that to do blood is changing i think it's a game changer so oh <clears throat> you know when they do fake blood for like films and stuff like that yeah generally it tastes minty it tastes minty yeah do they put like a mint thing in it then yeah, to because like you most you that's to go in your mouth a lot of the time. Yeah. So they they want it the taste of something. And so mint's the usual go to. So they like nom nom. Yeah. I'm just buffing this to get it a bit smoother. I think they do it because you know, like mint obviously in uh, with toothpaste, you don't swallow it, do you? So really? it kind of, if it's minty, it's, it makes you not swallow it. True. Yeah. We never, we used to make it. We, when I did um, special effects makeup, we made mm. um, blood. Make your own blood. We didn't, yeah. put, we didn't put mint in it though. So that's actually quite All good. Right. Yeah. Corn syrup too. So. I am going to show you this nail that I did on Andrea, actually. Um, so I did this nail on Andrea the other day using the neon inks. I'm just going to top up my acetone. Oh, I do like that. With the black, it looks mega, doesn't it? That contrast. Right, okay. So background color i am gonna use see, it was like it was the color that i used <laughs> was um it was just on top of strip tees which is our acrylic so i'm gonna use a similar color which is no filter no not just a nude sorry this is not just a nude so i'm gonna use not just a nude as the background so you'll get you know a true kind of outcome so that's one coat of not just nude so let that cook in the lamp international shipping for liquids we are uh, in the midst of sorting out at the moment, we've got a meeting. Have we got a meeting this week just to confirm some stuff? Yeah. <coughs> so, one coat is enough for this, and then we're going to 
use matte top coat in the lamp. And I'm going to show you a brand new brush because you've not seen it yet. Because why not? Because why not? It's a beautiful brush. It's my ultimate favorite brush. Those of you a bit that have been with me from day dot, you will remember the Cassidy brush. This is a double-ended brush that has the smallest, <laughs> tiniest brush at the end that is going to get tiny, 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 tiny detail. Now, Camilla has only just had this brush. And she says, how have I never had this brush in my life? It's <laughs> the best brush she's ever, ever, ever had. And the other end has a one-stroke brush on it. It's a beautiful one-stroke brush because it's a perfect shape and a perfect length to create one-stroke. However, you don't just need to use it for one-stroke, as I'm going to show you today. Okay? You two are brother and sisters, right? Nice to see family. Oh, my God. We are not brother and sister. However, me and Adam aren't. But I no, but we do. Act. She we picks do. on me like I'm a brother. We have this kind of like <laughs> chemistry that's very much like brother and sister because we just pick on each other all the time. <laughs> yeah. And as you could tell, just by looking at us, she would be the older sibling. Oh, <laughs> how rude. How very rude. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get the ink and I'm just going to do some lines of colour like this. So I've got the purple, which is amethyst. Then we're going to use the pink, which is zircon. And this is on a nude nail. It's like you're doing colour blocking. It is. This is, honest to God, one of the easiest designs, but looks pretty awesome. Put a bit of blue there. And then we can add some green here and some of the yellow. So think about your colour theory. You don't want to mix yellow with the purple. Yellow can mix with the blue, that's fine. But you don't want to mix it with the purple. Then I'm going to use Morganite. Here. And I can probably put a little bit more blue just here. Okay. Yes, it glamalicious nails, Camilla. It's that one, right? So, I'm going to show you how to yeah, do it. Yeah, I was just about to ask that. What, what does she mean? I'm confused now. He's just not been on my Instagram, have you, babe? You know what I mean? Right, so mm. we need so this is the um Cassidy brush, and I'm literally going to pull with the acetone to soften. Clean your brush. And you're kind of blending it, but it doesn't need to be a perfect blend. You're just using the, the sort of flatness of the brush to soften and add a bit of colour in other places. This is using the Cassidy brush. So we've got our little patches of colour. Okay. Then we are going to glossy top coat.
Oh, Katie, who's one of your clients from last week, posted on our, our Instagram there saying, if anybody would like to see the nails that Kirsty did on me last week, take a look at my Instagram. Hope this is allowed. I'm sure it's allowed, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we, uh, I think Vanessa's going to put the pictures up of them, Katie. She's mm. going to put them up. Um, she, I love that the, the clients get the sneaky peek of things that are not launched yet. They absolutely love it. The eyes are like everywhere in the studio. <laughs> watching, 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 watching. That's, I haven't seen that before. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> and then, where, where's one? <clears throat> Vanessa? <laughs> she gone? She's gone for lunch. Where are the crows? Look at them. Oh, yeah. On the south at the top. Right there. Right in front of you. No, you're behind me. I think you're going to do wrong with you. I've always wondered. So Lisa said, I feel like I would need a Valium if I ever come to the studio. What does Valium do to you? Does it chill you out? Is that what <laughs> Is that what it does? <laughs> no, see, I'm being totally serious. Does it chill you out? Is that I've know. heard it that many times. Like in loads of TV shows back in the nineties, they're like, oh my god, I need a Valium. Um but I'm guessing I'm guessing it chills you out then. Possibly, I don't know. It calms you down. Right. Ah. Right, so we're gonna use chameleon. If you do not have chameleon because you because the fast you know rapidly sold out. You can use from the unicorn collection, you can use unicorn's tears, which will give you a similar effect. Okay. So, right, all right, all right. So, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. gonna go on with the chrome. Sorry, I'm holding this a little bit weird. So let's rub the chrome in. And you can see that you can still see the colours coming through. So you can still see the ink coming through. Chrome. But if you had, if you've got unicorns trotters, you could put that directly over the top. You wouldn't have to top coat it. You just put it directly over the top and you would get a similar effect. It'll just be slightly more shimmer than the chrome. Yeah? And you still be able to see the colour coming through. Okay. Next step is we need black, which is void. So we're going to use void. Okay. Where's my palette? Here's my palette. Um, <clears throat> when will the chromes be back in stock? Do we have a date on that yet, Vanessa? She's out the room. Oh, is she? Okay. She's, all, she's the boss. People are asking me. She's the boss on that, I would say. So, we're going to use... I think it would probably... Something like maybe four weeks, maybe. She knows the proper date. So. Right, so we've got... <sighs> what? Heather, do you have a link to that? She just said, I saw your skull trademark on a stamp on Timu, a wax stamp. Get yeah, lost. Really? I hope it's... Well, it's a trademark, sorry, so... Yeah. Heather, send us a link on the inbox. How rude. That is rude. People just try anything. Oh, my God. It's, you know, it's taken so long to draw that out and develop this logo to make it unique so people couldn't do stuff like this. But they just rip it off, don't they? Mm-hmm. Right, okay. So, double-ended brush. We've got Void, which is the black. Yeah. 
And I'm just going to show you. Just move some. It's getting a bit chaotic this day. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you pick up the colour void with your brush, and then we're going to tap, 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 tap. To create your leopard that's how easy it is literally the shape of the brush is going to do the job for you so we're going to go around we're going to leave a little gap and it will create the texture and the little lines for you shana says kirstie did you remind adam that i showed you that unicorns were real Oh Lost my god, no, I didn't. I, she sent me this and I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to tell Adam. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Unicorns are real, Adam. Wait till I show you this link. They actually well, are. Where do you think we get the trotters from and the tears? Kirsty just likes making unicorns cry and then sells it. <laughs> <laughs> so look how the shape of the brush just creates the yeah, That's cool. Thing. And then you can use the very, very small brush if you want to add like some little tiny ones. But that is quite a quick design, all down to the brush. You know, the brush is doing the job for you. You can even add more little lines to make it even more textured with the other side of the brush. So this is the Cassidy brush. Just come up to touch. It's not, don't get it confused with the Cassidy detailer. This is just the OG original Cassidy. I, I think people are having a laugh here. So the indie one says unicorns are the national animal of Scotland. Get away! Are they? Eh? Really? <laughs> is that it? Eh? Are you sure about that? Well, as they are, I'm clearly part Scottish, that's what it is. With the red hair, with my red hair, you know, I think <laughs> well. Nobody knows you've got red hair. Oh, well, I've got nothing. It's been a while since hair. you've had red hair, isn't it? It's been, it's been, yeah, more than half my <laughs> life. <laughs> Seen the photos, though. I know. That's my mother. Nanny Pam <laughs> keeps sharing photos of me with ginger hair. <laughs> <laughs> she just, she loves you. Loved you when you were young. When you were young, sorry. Yeah, she loved me when <laughs> I was young. Rude. She doesn't like me so much now I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just cleaning through that with some cleanup solution. Um, if you're going to use this brush for um, acrylic paint and you have used it with gel, make sure you clean it up with clean it with cleanup solution and then clean it with warm soapy water. If you were me, I would have two of these brushes. I would keep one for gel and one for acrylic paints. Right, it's getting silly now. So apparently, oh, leprechauns ride ride unicorn. Leprechauns ride unicorns, not horses. <laughs> this is just getting silly. <laughs> oh my god. Right, I'm gonna top coat this now. It's cured. Do you know what? I didn't even check this nail. It is cured, isn't it? Yeah, I did put it in the face. Yeah. Um, right. Top coat. <laughs> We're sealing in everything, the design and the liquid chrome. And look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's such a cool design. No way they live in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> the, and originally they were thought to have cloven feet as posted. What? What so they had oh they had so hold on leprechauns had feet like hooves. Is that what you're saying? Leprechauns did. 
Or are you on about? I'm very confused I'm now. I'm confused now. Cassie, I'm well confused. So that is how to create. you. So we've used the colours from the collection, the Neon Ink collection, with a bit of void and chrome, and we've created this gorgeous effect. Like how stunning. It is really cool. And it's quite simple. And you're wrong, even without the leopard print, it looked cool anyway. But I just. Right. Apparently, unicorns were mentioned in the Bible now. And apparently, there's also one on the front of your passport. The unicorns on the Scottish flag. Get away. I'm right. I'm looking for stuff it's now. On the front of the front of your passport. Thought that was us. Thought that was an us. Thought that was an us. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't looked at my passport. That oh my god, it is. Get I lost. did not know that. No way. Every day is a school day. No way. I thought right. I thought it was the horses. Because have you ever seen the kelpies? The what? Outside of the kelpies, outside of um, of Edinburgh. As if you're on the way to Stell and those big horse heads. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're called the Kelpies. Right. But I, I didn't re realise unicorns were right. This is blow my mind. I'm going to lose my whole day now looking at this. <laughs> going down unicorn holes, not rabbit holes. God. Maybe, maybe we need a job polish called unicorn hole. <laughs> yeah, might, be bit, might be a bit clumsy. Yeah, definitely. How can a fake animal be a national animal? <laughs> it's not fake. It isn't fake. Yes. It's a, no, honestly, God, Katie showed me the video. I'm telling you now, it's real. What's the horse with wings? That was Pegasus, K. Yeah. yeah, that was Pegasus. And I, do some of the uh, some of the My Little Ponies have wings? And they're not real. <laughs> My Little Ponies are not real. Well, I've seen them. <laughs> Well, I think they're real because I, I, I don't miss a child, so they got me real. <laughs> <laughs> they talk to me and everything. Right, I'm just going to show you how to do a neon rainbow. And this will be our last little demo because what time is it? I don't even know what time it is. It's two o'clock. Oh, it's two o'clock and we normally cut, we normally do two hours. So I'm going to make this my last one. But I'm going to use on my background. Oh, because I did some gorgeous nails the other day. Um... You should try a aqua gel with the texture of the ink. Milky on top. Fire. Oh my god. It's that, inspired by an That's a banging idea. That's a banging idea. Camilla, I'm gonna do it. Maybe we sit tonight and both do it together. Right. So rats ha, rats ha. Easy design. Super, super easy. We're going to use the colour. This is from the Down the Aisle collection. The Down the Aisle collection is our gorgeous wedding collection. We're going to use crystal. And it's such a wearable collection. And, you know, if you've got your, like, you know, safe Susies that want to have safe colours, this collection is definitely the one, the Down the Aisle collection. So we're using... I've never heard the term safe Susie before. I quite like that. Yeah. You're not Plain done. Plain Jane. Plain Jane, basic bit. Uh, <laughs> um, so this is the colour crystal. We're going to use that as our background. I'm excited to do this now. A little bit excited. Not going to lie. It's 9.02 a.m. in North Carolina. It's early doors. Come on, Cassie's got more info on the, on the unicorns here. Read them out. Unicorns were also on Queen Jane's, Henry VIII's third wife. Did he kill her? I think he did. <laughs> Family coat of arms. There are statues at Hampton Court. Unicorns are thought to be one of the animals who didn't get on the ark. Is that because oh. the horn was like, stuck on the top of the door frame? 
Mm. While that's in the lamp, I'm going to find the message of Katie. So did Jane survive or did she get beheaded? It was the two Janes. It was Jane Seymour. You, you Haley will know this. No, way too much. Haley what? will know this because she's like a total... Six fan. Royalist thingy. You know, I don't know why I married her. <laughs> Had I known that she loved the royal family that much, I definitely wouldn't have that. Katie, where did you send it me? Not on Instagram. Have you? Oh yeah. Oh no. Was it? Wasn't on Instagram. It must have been on WhatsApp. Let me find this. So I've Matt top coated that, by the way. Let me let me find. Oh, she was his favourite wife, so he didn't kill that one, but she did die. Unfortunately. Why can't I find the link? Katie, where's the link? Was it Katie or Shauna? Was it Shauna? Did Shauna send it me? Oh, I don't even remember who sent it me. Shauna. Shauna. The unicorns. It was Shauna. Sorry, 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 Katie. Right, sorry, Shauna. Right, let me find this. Divorce, beheaded, died. Divorce, beheaded, survived. There was his six wives. That's from Lee Walker. Right. You for the year. Uh... What the? <laughs> so that's what a unicorn looked like. Not quite as attractive as you would might you might think. Yeah. It looks like a sloth with a horn. A very it's giant. Well, there was giant sloths in, like, um, so in America before the Ice Age and stuff. Giant sloths. But I didn't know if they had huge horns. Yeah. Look, this is, look, look she says, you can now tell Adam Unicorn. <laughs> in fact, real. <laughs> 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 But we've made, we've obviously made him look a little bit more attractive, shall we say. A little bit more attractive. Right, okay. I knew they were real because we sell their tears, so. We sell their tears, they're trotters. Yeah, exactly. They're snot. Yeah, they're them. totally legit. Totally, totally. Right, so I'm going to put these in order. So, when we're doing a rainbow with all the colours, we're going to put them in rainbow order. So, we've got, first of all, um, citrine, then peridot, then sapphire, then amethyst, then zircon, then morganite, and then fire opal. Okay? I mean, to be honest, you could, either way, you could put zircon at either end because it would go... Maybe, maybe I feel like that does need to go there actually. So we've got this rainbow, okay? It's important to make sure you do not put like green next to the pink or yellow next to the purple because you're going to mix a brown and that's not what we want. So all we're going to do going to be super easy we're going to put a bit of green here and apparently Voldemort stayed alive by drinking unicorn's blood really mm -hmm. no it was a book It wasn't real, that wasn't. That was, that was no. definitely, definitely a book. Yes, definitely a book. But you could say that about the Bible. Well, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very controversial thing for me to say, but yeah. It definitely is. I read a great... Uh, there's, a, there's a Twitter feed called Fess Hall. Um, I think we've talked about it before on the channel. Yeah. Um, and there was a great one the other day that said, this guy only found out six months after he'd been married that his wife didn't believe in dinosaurs. 
what? which I just thought was great because there's quite a lot of Christian pages that like don't but like who are what what do you call it when it's somebody who doesn't believe in sort of evolution and all that kind of stuff. Um, they think that the world's only 10,000 years old or whatever. Don't they care. don't believe in dinosaurs. There's loads of YouTube, uh, Facebook pages about it. It's dead funny. I don't know. You need to, somebody needs to tell us what that is. Hey, hey, get it. No. No. It's, um, ah, for the life of me, I can't remember. Creati- creationist. That's Creative. it, creationist. Yeah, so creationists, yeah. Okay. It's just fair news, like you believe in all that if you want to. Um, but yeah, it was, it's the, the like they say that dinosaur bones were um, planted by scientists. <laughs> but really? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Right. Okay. So we've got all the seven colours on, and then I'm just going to smush it together. So we get a bit of a blend, it doesn't need to be perfect, and then clean between each one. <laughs> Kathy says her dad is a devout Catholic and says the earth is only 5,000 years old. <laughs> Lots of laughing emojis. <laughs> well, I, I can beat that one. Uh, my, my dad thinks the world's flat, so... Um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't really need to have a conversation with Silly Billy about oh, this. Is that Billy. why you called him Silly Billy? He is very silly. <laughs> I mean, he might be a little bit bonkers, but you know, aren't we all? Especially in my family. He is. <laughs> Have you got lots of questions for me, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> so we've simply blended them. Yeah. You can really go to town and marble it all and things like that if you want. But that's not. What, look how simple this is. Look how simple. Mm-hmm. This design is, but uber uber effective. The Bible was written by man, not God. Lol, my dad is a di- oh, okay. <laughs> he went up. My dad says Mary was the first woman to tell a massive lie about cheering. About, about cheering on Joseph. Top coat. The good thing about the inks is they are so thin. They are super, super thin. They do not add any bulk whatsoever. So you can add colour without bulk. I think I think that's meant to say cheating, not cheering. I was just trying to get me that into my head there. Why is she cheering Joseph on? Yeah, cheating <laughs> on Josie. She, I think it's supposed to say cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Heather. It's such a beautiful nail, and in the lamp, it like glows. It's so so nice. So it's just about thinking outside the box and using your colours to create lots of things, and using the gel polishes that you may already have if you have the unicorn collection, or if you have the down the aisle collection, and just look at that. So now we've actually made the sparkle different colours. How cool is that? It's such a easy nail to do. It doesn't take too long. Your clients are going to love them. They're going to love, love, love them. So these are all the nails we've done today. What do you think? Claws by Caden says the colours are stunning. Thank and you. Thank you. Much. They are stunning. You are damn right. They are so, so nice. I absolutely love them. I hope we've sort of explained lots of different effects as well and lots of different ways to use the collection. So happy shopping. Um, RIP to the bank balance. We do do Klarna and uh, PayPal payment. Clear pay, PayPal. Clear pay. We do all that so you can, you know, get your collections in and you can use them on your clients and you get your money back through your clients, which is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, we, we've, 
we've gone a bit deep today. We've gone from universe mm. to religion. <laughs> a bit crazy. Who knew that today was going to this this topic of conversation was going to happen just through a neon collection live. <laughs> We do talk about the most random things. We certainly do. Looks like beans on yeah. toast for the foreseeable. Yeah, yeah, indeed. There's nothing wrong yeah. with beans on toast. The ND one. Um, yeah, that's me on that at the moment because I'm on uh, on 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 what's it? Pain three with me Apple Watch and me earbud, me earpods. Oh, that's it now. Everybody yeah. on bread and water, but they yeah. have banging nails. Cover <laughs> me. I'm doing rainbow on my next client. That's it. Get a, get that rainbow one on your next client. And you'll be able to use these colours with your um, Halloween nails as well, which is absolutely brilliant for you. So hopefully we've got these two you in time for the tail end of summer and ready for Halloween. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed watching us today. You can head to the www.kirstenmeeking.com and shop the um, Neon Ink collection. And hopefully, but all enjoyed our little show. <laughs> so, yeah. Cool. Gemma has asked a very important question. It's coming. It's coming, baby. There's lots in the pipeline still to come. Um, but, yeah. Going to drip feed you. Just so you all can still eat. <laughs> and you can still feed your children, drop me. Gonna drip feed you the product stuff. We don't want anybody to be broke. Right, and guys, it is goodbye from me and goodbye from Adam and the whole team. Um, any questions? Enjoy your inks. Yeah, enjoy your inks. Any questions? Then just pop them over, and we'll see you in the next video, whether that's on YouTube or Facebook or even Instagram. So yeah, I'll see you soon. Love you lots. Don't write around the live. There we are. I know the button now. I've got it. <laughs> See you <laughs> later. Try, Duck. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.